Do you need to get rid of something in your life? What do I mean? For example, are there things in your life that are pulling you down? You're supposed to reach certain dreams and fulfill your potential and be all that God wants you to be, but there's something that's pulling you down. Or they could be bad habits that are preventing and stunting your growth. What are they? Hey, I've got two answers. First one are obviously bad things like vices and like, like everybody knows those are bad stuff, whatever they are, you know, and, and they're making you unhealthy and they're, they're really just bad news. And so here's the thing, maybe they're vices. And so I'm speaking to you right now to actually wake up and actually remove your blinders and say, it's time. Do you love yourself? Do you love yourself enough to say, this is bad for me and I'm letting go and I'm cutting off and I'm giving that up to the Lord. However, there might be other things that are also preventing your growth and pulling you down, taking you away from the Lord that are actually good things. You're just applying them wrongly. What do I mean? They're good stuff by itself. For example, social media. Social media, is it good or is it bad? Depends. This is social media. <laughs> Full tank. Thousands of people being blessed. Listen to me. According to surveys, Filipinos spend an average of four incredible hours every single day on social media. Nine hours all in all online but four hours just on social media. Think about it. I know of someone who just realized it's an addiction. Psychologists call it now by a new term, digital dementia. Do you know what dementia is, right? When people suddenly are forgetful, they have short attention span, you can't talk to them in a logical way because well, they've got dementia. Psychologists are now seeing a certain kind of dementia of people who are so addicted to social media, it's, it's now incoherent and they're losing the sharpness. Our human brains are amazing, are fantastic, but if you just immerse yourself in an addicted way on something that is not necessarily bad, I repeat, this is good, right? Social media. So anyway, I've, I've, I, I know of someone who, who's made a decision like she's, she's the typical four hour a day social media. She cut it down to 20 minutes, 20 minutes, just 20 minutes, just finding, you know, what's, what's happening to her friends and all of that. Cut after 20 minutes and then she uses her time creating. She decides, I'm going to create stuff instead of the negativity and the toxicity and the, the bad stuff in social media. I'm going to spend a few minutes every day to post something that will bless, that will inspire, that will add positivity in the conversation, in social media. So instead of consuming, she starts creating. I'll give you another example. Um, there's this other guy I know, and he realized that he was hanging out with people that like to complain. Like, he hangs out with them for two hours and for two hours, they will complain about this and complain about that and complain about this. I want you to know, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? It's supposed to be a good thing. We need friends. We need social connections. We are relational beings. Hello. But he realized, hmm, if I hang out with these people, let's say four times a week, it will all, all only about complain, 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 complain. And he decided to look for another group of friends. Now, I want you to know he did not discard this group of friends. He just decided, I'm going to minimize my time with these people. And I'm going to hang out with another set of friends. And he had another set of friends. They didn't use up their time complaining. No, they used up their time contributing and dreaming and brainstorming and learning together. It's like there was so much joy just being and fire and passion with these people because one person wants to put up a ministry, another person wants to put up a business, and another person has a project that he's working on and they talk about it and they swap ideas. 
And I said, wow, this is very different from my complaining friends. Instead of complaining, they're doing and they're making mistakes uh, and, and learning from those experiments. And whoa, meaning to say, and I'm going to ask you this question. Is there anything in your life that you need to let go? Is there anything in your life that you need to get rid of that's pulling you down, that's pulling you away from your potential, that's stopping the growth that you want to have? to reach your dreams. Make that decision now. In our gospel for today, Jesus is talking about letting go and giving up. And then if you do that for His sake, there will be rewards, it's, He says. There will always be a harvest if you do what is right. Not right away, but in due time. Can we pray? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, help me to let go. I choose to let go. Anything in my life, that pulls me away from you and takes me away from fulfilling what you want me to do. Jesus, give me the power to let go, to give up, to surrender. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Friend, do you feel fear in your heart right now? that your money is stuck, it's not growing, your needs are growing, but your money is not and will not be enough to meet your needs. There is a solution. It doesn't have to be that way. How? Come and join our seminar. There is a seminar that's happening near you. Click the link below. Make it happen. It's your turn. Start growing in financial abundance. Click that link and I'll see you there.